Ouais. Our machine offers all the off-road mobility and power you would expect with an ATV, but provides a truly hear the birds chirping branch cracking silence. If that isn't impressive enough, our new EATV has four independently controlled hub motors, giving the machine superior range with no grinding, power-sucking drivetrain to eat up your battery life. These hub motors will give your machine, and you, the ability to reverse your trailhead direction by doing this. Yeah, try doing that with your current ATV. With the hybrid gas-powered range extender technology, you can unlock extra range on a single tank and battery. Hi, I'm Steve Cristini, founder of Cristini EV. This here behind me is our flagship electric ATV with four hub motors, a large 13 kilowatt battery, and a range extender. This is gonna be a new version of uh, outdoor adventure ATVs in that it's got longer range, near silent operation because hub motors don't have any contacting parts. We get rid of all of the drivetrain dynamics that are uh, usually additional warranty and things because there is no drivetrain. And then we also have a range extender to get rid of that, that worry of how long can I go on an electric vehicle. Because of the ability to have four hub motors can also do some things that other vehicles in the electric categories cannot. And that's being a very, very slow speed ability. So you could be out hunting and be listening for game. If you're gonna be uh, doing things that require surveying or rescue, uh, you can listen. Whereas other electric vehicles that have drivetrains still have that grinding, that like kind of a dragging sound. This does not. That's very important. Also because of no drivetrain, we're all the ability to have an extra large battery and a very small platform. In this case, we have a 13 kilowatt hour battery. To give you a little bit of context, a lot of electric hybrid vehicles like cars will have an 18 to 20 kilowatt battery. So we have a very large automotive sized battery. So our range is already exceptional compared to other vehicles. On top of that, we do have our hybrid automotive range extender, which is uh, integrated inside this. So that does two things. It'll give you offboarding power. So you can imagine yourself being at a campsite or multi-day camping or outdoorsman trip. You can actually plug in and power all of your other equipment. If you're in the military, you can charge your equipment. Um, and in this case, if your battery is depleted, you can recharge your battery um, up to at least one and a half, possibly up to two times, uh, just from the onboard range extender. Another neat feature is you can put it on automotive charge. So what that means is as you're riding, if you start to deplete your battery, it'll automatically kick in, start charging your battery, just like a hybrid electric automobile. Another option of our new ATV is going to be an autonomy mode. Uh, this is going to be mostly for the military, potentially for the consumers, but, and they can control it remotely, essentially like a remote control car. But the hub motors make the vehicle very mobile. They've actually also gotten into the power steering in the system where they can control the steering and skid steer the vehicle. Uh, another option that they're working on and it's down the road is a walk behind mode where it could be used as a mobile uh, carrying device where they could have put equipment. Uh, it'll fall either on a tether or GPS mode down the same trail that a troop might be walking. This may move into the consumer product space down the road, but it is actually in an operational thing right now um, with the autonomy. It's also a very important point to note that the first vehicle that we made was funded by the Office of Naval Research. So we already have the military engaged in looking at these products for the long term. So what we've done is we've taken all this tech that's out there in the field, we've packaged it into a nice, concise vehicle. Um, in this case, we're actually not going to fabricate the frames. We're gonna bring these frames in from a partner company. And in the US, we're gonna put this whole thing together in a CKD assembly. And that's really important because we're gonna be able to control both battery, um, motor, and also the final assembly here in the States. Um, and then also be able to control the, uh, the warranty issues that may occur. 
Um, but one of the also important things about how we're, uh, we're launching this company is we're going to have a direct relationship with the consumer. And that's going to be a um, basically a transport uh, situation where you buy the bike, buy the ATV, and you're going to be able to ship it directly to the customer and get the PDA done, PDI done right at the, the customer's house. And that's important because we're going to be able to cut out a lot of the overhead that's involved in a, a huge network. Serviceability will be done with um, a mobile uh, fleet of service people, um, and that's going to be covering all those other issues that may come up down the road. Christini EV. More power, more range, more adventure.